Hello, Filomena. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Everything is okay. Todo mm. bien? Yes, todo yes. bien. Okay, great. In two minutes, we are going to get started, okay? In two minutes, iniciaremos. Okay. Okay, great. Hello, Daniel. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hey, what happened to you yesterday, Danny? We were waiting for you. Le estuvimos esperando ayer. ¿Qué le sucedió? ¿Algún inconveniente? No, me tocó quedarme tiempo extra en el trabajo. Uh, overtime. Yes. Ah, so it means more money. Yes. Yes. Overtime, more money. Yeah. Okay, great, excellent. It is exactly the time to get started. While the others join, I'm going to start sharing my screen with you guys, okay? Remember, Danny and Filomena, I think that you are working very well, Filomena, in the platform, yeah? Danny, I don't know if you are owing me something because remember, this is the last week. Recuerden que esta es la última semana. Tienen que actualizar, ¿verdad? Sus, sus plataformas, sus tareas y evaluaciones en las plataformas. Eh, esta semana sí hay un examencito final, aparte de las tareas diarias, ¿sí? Porque para el día lunes todo tiene que estar terminado, ¿de acuerdo? Porque el lunes vamos con la encuesta y ya almost everybody in Christmas mood. Y ya casi todo el mundo en, en, en espíritu de Navidad, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, debe estar ya terminadito todo, ¿sí? Ok. So, here we go. I'm going to share my screen with you, and we're going to wait for the others to join, ¿ok? To log in. Ok. Today is October 26, 2022. And it is, okay, here. I'm going to share with you guys, okay. Today is our video conference number 17. Only remaining three more. Solo nos quedan tres más. Four. Thursday, tomorrow, Friday, and on Monday. The first activity is greetings as every day. We're going to have a feedback. Someone is going to help me reading the objectives. And in the pre-task, you are going to identify vocabulary on phones. In the preparation task, you will report a problem using formal language. Actually, yesterday we got into this topic into this theme. Today we're going to go a little bit deeper. In the task is uh, to report a problem using formal language. I expect that we work that at page 42 and the wrapping up of the class. So here we have the objectives and as every day I ask one of you to help me reading the specific objective and the class objective because you need to practice reading and speaking. One volunteer to help me please, reading. Only one, Jonathan, Danny, Filomena, who's going to help me? Only one. Okay, I'm going to wait here. 
until one of you decides to volunteer to read the specific objective and the class objective. Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you, Filomena. Ladies first. Because, okay, this boys. Okay. Okay. Es a specific objective. Participant will be able to report a, a problem using formal la language. 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 Class objective. Participant will be able to use word like to. Excellent. Very well. Would like to. I would like to report a problem. David Emanuel, welcome. Brandon, welcome. All of you are really yeah, welcome. Yeah. Again, here, class, there is a reminder, okay, about homeworks and evaluations. Remember, this is the last week we're going to be in class, so I need you to finish as soon as possible the homeworks and evaluations for week number four. So on Monday, you are free. Remember the inconveniences because of the heavy rain, maybe at night, the problems with the internet connectivity and also with the uh, winds. Okay, con lo viento, ¿verdad? So there are many problems. So that's why if you work in advance, that would be better. But I have to congratulate that some of you are done with the homeworks of the first of the four units with the midterm and with the final test. There are about five students who are done with everything. Hay como cinco estudiantes que ya terminaron todas las actividades y el examen final. Congratulations for them. Okay. And here again, the requirements, remember, name, full name, and camera on, sound off, and active participation in the breakout rooms. The attendance, I call your names two times, yes. And remember, 120 minutes is the expected attendance. And at the end of the class, one of you stays with me for 10 minutes or more in order to have a kind of uh, feedback or review or clarify any doubts, okay, that you might have about the contents. Said so that, again, cameras on the mute button for the microphone. The chats are available and the ask for help in the breakout rooms bottom is available and let's keep respect above all things. We are here, okay, in week number four. So for the 31st, you need to be done in the platform, okay? That is my reminder. And here, if you remember, Yesterday we were, and the day before yesterday, we were working with these activities, which they are very, very helpful in order to get people distressed at work, in order to have uh, happier employees. For example, organize yoga classes, celebrate birthdays, paintball, and guess who? and some other activities that you were mentioning that some of you have at work, yeah? And that is great on your companies because it helps mental health, yeah? And uh, the benefits of yoga classes, taking yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain, function and lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? Celebrate birthdays. You don't just want to rely on, rely on business games to boost morale. Simply acknowledging, acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sign a card, have 
cake once a month or simply buy them a round of coffee each time someone in your team has a birthday. Paintball. What can we say about paintball? Give your employees an opportunity to let off some steam by organizing a day of paintball. Simply, not simple, simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out though, as the boss, you're going to be a prime target. Guess who? Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up on a board and then get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a bit of easy, lighthearted fun that will definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way, okay? I have read this for you to listen to the pronunciation because some of you were having troubles with, for example, the words acknowledging, yeah? Acknowledging, rely on, it is not really, really, really on, no, rely, rely on. This is together, rely on. On is part of rely, to rely on. That is the verb, okay? And here, okay, we were also uh, working this week with the feedback on how to use the present continuous for temporary situations, okay? The present continuous for temporary situations is the one that it is not permanent, okay? Only as the, the word says for a specific period of time. For instance, I am reading a new book these days. In other words, this is a temporary activity because the person will finish reading the book, okay? And so on, and here I requested from you to write a six line paragraph about temporary events at your workplace. And you were doing this yesterday. Do you remember guys? You did it, congratulations on that. And here, now we're going to continue working. I'm going to stop here because yesterday I promised that you were going to start with the last activity, do you remember? Do you remember class? Do you or don't you? Okay, here. <clears throat> if you remember yesterday, hmm, this is what I was telling you in the PPT, but here it's better, okay? You were practicing this short conversation because yesterday we began unit four and it is about tech support. So you were practicing this short conversation in the breakout rooms. Good morning, this is Peter from tech support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter, this is Robert. I am calling from the human resources department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it? What is it? What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions, okay? This is what you were practicing in the breakout rooms. Now, to have the feedback of this conversation, I need two volunteers to practice this conversation for the class. Only two volunteers. Boys or girls are accepted, no problem. Hi, teacher. Hi, okay, thank you so much. I have one volunteer. You're going to read Peter, and who's going to help me read in Robert? Hello. Okay, teacher. Okay, Hello. thank you, Philomena. Thank you so much. I thought I lost the connectivity. Okay, begin. Uh, David, you begin. You begin. Sorry. Okay. Uh, good morning. This is Peter from Teach Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am Carlis from the Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It's 
dance seem to work? I see. Let me ask you some question. Thank you so much, class. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech. Tech, because if you say teach, is from teacher. Okay, from Tech. Technical, the short form. Technician, Tech. Tech support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. I'd like is the short form of I would like. If you remember, I told you yesterday. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Yeah. And over here, you went to the groups and you answered these two questions based on this information in the conversation, if you remember. Also, as a group, you analyze this set of potential issues or problems that people face at their workplaces. And we agree that, well, at least in our country, in El Salvador, almost all of them are the most common and we call for tech support for uh, the case when we have a new software, when there is no internet access, when we believe there is a virus in our device, when by any you know, mistake we delete files, when the paper is stuck in the printer, but the printer belongs to the company to get rid of problems, you call the tech support. The USB ports out of order in the computer, funny noise in the CPU and the frozen screen, okay? I get frozen screen here many times, very, very common problem to me. And this is what you were doing yesterday. But also, if you remember here, okay, uh, we were studying the ways to report a problem and common issues to report. And we said that issues is a synonym for problem, issue, or situation, okay? I have a situation with my computer. Or oh, really, yes, okay, tell me. What is it? And then I describe what I believe it is. Over here, you were working with your partners in the breakout rooms, yeah? And here you wrote the problems that you face, the most common problems that you face with the tech uh, equipment in your workplace. Over here, your partner's most common issues at the workplace and in the middle, you wrote the ones that were in common in both companies, in yours and your partner's company, right? But right now, here comes how you are going to go over this information, the one that you have. You're going to be reporting a problem to take support over the phone. The instructions are the following. We are at page 40 class, okay? Work with a classmate and write three problems for each piece of equipment. Let's imagine that you think about, um, about a computer and you write three problems that people usually have or face with a computer. Add the name of a piece of equipment in your workplace using the diagram page 41 and practice reporting one of those problems to a classmate. Change partners and practice again. So over here, because you have this information, you're going to go over here, okay? Here you write the name of the item. For example, let's imagine over here, hmm, printer. Okay, but you decide, this is just an example. And over here, you're going to write the possible problems that people have or the problems that people usually have, okay? Here with the printer and here another device and over here, another, okay, item and the possible. After that, you are going to create a conversation. I have a problem with my Wi-Fi connection. I see, let's check the router first, but they chose the 
a Wi-Fi connection, but here you have to choose the problems with, for example, the printer, the computer, what else, the other one, maybe the Wi-Fi connectivity. I don't know, you use your imagination and you create a conversation kind of similar to this one, okay? Are we clear about the instructions? Están claras las instrucciones. Hello, hello. Good evening. Yes. Good evening, repeat, welcome. Please, repeat, please. Acabo de entrar. Really? Okay, here we go. Listen, oh, you're going to work in the breakout rooms. And here at page 41, you are going to <clears throat> complete this chart, okay? Here you have to choose three different items from the tech equipment. And over here, three potential problems okay that you might face with the in this case the printer probably paper is stock yeah paper is stock this is one and then you write two more and for the other device let's imagine it is the what could it be uh the computer that is the most common or a laptop and the three problems and another device and the three problems. When you have here the item and the possible problems, you are going to create a conversation reporting a problem. One of you is going to play the role of the IT tech support and the other one, the employee and you switch roles, okay? But remember that since you are going to be three, I expect that you're going to be three in each group because if I uh, send you to work in groups in pairs, maybe one of you lose the connectivity, we're going to be in trouble, okay? So I'm going to stop sharing this and I'm going to, before you go to the breakout rooms, because of the time, it is exactly the time to call your names for the attendance. Hello everyone, thank you for joining. Ana Marlene, Marlene, I saw you here. Great. Ana Veronica, 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 not yet. Okay, later on. Brandon, I saw you, Brandon. Okay. I saw you at the beginning. Carlos Miguel. I am here, teacher. Great. Carmen, hello, Carmen. Carmen. No, Carmen is not here at the moment. Clelia, Miss Clelia, hello, yes, welcome, great. Dani, I saw you, Dani, okay. David, Emanuel, yes, David, okay, great. Edwin, Roberto. Present teacher. Hello, hello. Okay, here you are, yes, because I saw you here and suddenly you were here. Ivania. Present teacher. Here, yes. Janice Caroline. Janice Caroline, not yet. Okay, not yet. Jonathan. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Jonathan. Jose Dimas. Present. Thank you. Jose Manuel. Mm, not yet. Jose Mario. Present teacher. Great, thank you. Juan Ezequiel, Juan, where are you? Hello. Present. Okay, great, thank you. Marlene. Marlene. Marlene, not yet. Nilton. Present. Thank you. Serafín, are you here? Here I am, teacher. Great, William Francisco, I saw you, William. William Francisco, William, William Francisco, Filomena. Present teacher. The first one, Blanqui, Blanca Luz, here. Present teacher. Thank you, Alejandra Michel. Not yet. Noe, absent. Okay, now let's move to the breakout rooms and. Yes, many times. 
about 10 no. times. In case of any doubt, you may watch the video tomorrow, okay, of the class. Yes, but I know you're here mm -hmm. because you are mm. always here, okay? Yeah. I, I, okay, I registered your attendance. Okay, class, now let's move to the breakout rooms. And remember, you're going to work over here. First thing, you have to make the decision which items you're going to use. Maybe it is not necessary the computer because you have other equipment at the office, depending on the nature of your occupation, right? And then you share it with the class, no problem. No problem at all, okay? And remember to build, to construct the conversation similar to this one. Okay, reporting in a very formal way, and you're going to switch roles. And that's it. Now let's move to the breakout rooms. Um, let's see. Uh, no. No, no, no. Oh. Okay, there you are. Okay, listen, there are some students who are uh, in their way home. And we're going to have one, two, three, four groups of three students and one group of two students. When someone else joins, I'm going to join that student to the group with only two participants, okay? So I'm going to open the breakout rooms, open your eyes big because the invitation is going to be sent right now. Here we go. Okay, I sent you the invitation. Join your groups, please, and begin working. Let's join the different groups. Blanca, I need you in group number three, please. Blanky, I need you in group number three. Blanca Delgado, please go to group number three.
Y ah, uh, no. I would like you to fix this. I would like you to fix this. I would like you to fix this. Me gustaría que usted reparara esto. I would like you to fix this. Y ahí están poniendo en práctica las dos estructuras que les expliqué al inicio, si se recuerdan, ¿ok? Ya está hecha. Ok. Ok. Ok, now let's return to the main session room to standardize those two answers, ok? Ok. Let's get back. Teacher, yes, Miss. In in the conversation, um, the word message, 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 message. Mes si usted message. dice message, es masaje. Message, ah. mensaje. Okay. Okay. Message, Thank you. Message. Message. Yeah. I was about to tell you about it because I heard somebody saying message and that is masaje. So message. Now let's standardize the answers here. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Mrs. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange, strange, a strange noise. Is there a message? Message, not massage. Massage is massage. A message is escribe diferente. A message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. Now here in number one, what do we need? Use the conversation to help yourself. It? I would. I would, okay. Would. I would. I would like to report this issue. And in number two, I would? I would like you to. I would like you to. Me gustaría que usted arreglara o reparara esto. Yes? Mm -hmm. So here you have the two structures that I told you about at the beginning, right? I would like you to do me a favor. Me gustaría que me hiciera un favor. I would like to report this issue, okay? I would like to report a problem. And there we are. So we practice today using the structures would like you, would like, and the other one is would like to, yeah? In order to report a problem in a very formal way, en una forma muy real, muy formal y muy amable también. So they can help you because if you are not so polite, they don't help you, okay? So that's it. Do you have any problem or question about the pronunciation of these words? Remember, IT department, yeah? And noise service message. I think that troublesome word is message for today, yeah? And well, I have to congratulate you and congratulate the ones, as I told you at the beginning, who are done with all the homeworks in the platform and also with the 
test with the midterm and with the final test. And I cordially encourage the rest of you to continue working in the platform because for Monday, everything must be done. Para el lunes, todo debe de haber terminado, okay? And uh, David Emanuel, I have to tell you something very sad, but real. Okay. I need you to stay with me 10 minutes, please. Okay. okay. Class, thank you very much for being in class. Sleep well. I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. Good night. Happy Katie. sleep. Good night. Happy sleep. Good night. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good Have a good night. Bye-bye. See, bye. bye. see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Blessings. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye, Juan. Bye-bye, bye, bye, Edwin. Bye, William see Francisco. You see you tomorrow. My pleasure. See you tomorrow, William. William, see you tomorrow. Okay, David, here we go. William, bye. Vaya, vamos a practicar pronunciación, chico. Okay, okay teacher. Okay, comencemos con esta conversación que, que trabajamos esta noche, la ultimita. Mike mm -hmm. Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Mrs. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message? A message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right away. Okay, now you, you read it together, everything together. Toda okay. la conversación, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, my. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Mrs. Ochoa? I, it doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange, no, a strange noise. Uh, is there a message? Como dijo message. Este? message. Message. Message in the control panel. Yes, it say service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon, the, soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right away. Great, excellent. Now you pronounce it correctly. And now hear this other conversation, okay? Good morning, this is Peter from Tech, Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter, this is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work, I see. Let me ask you some questions. Now it is your turn. Okay. Uh, good morning. This is Peter from Teach Support. How can I help you? Hi. Hi, P Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is, what is it, Robert? It, it doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Only here, tech support. Repeat, please, tech, tech. support. Tech support. Uh -huh. okay. Because you tend to say tech, but okay. no, it is tech. Forget tech. about letter H, tech, tech, tech. support. Tech. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And over here, okay, this conversation. Hi, Beth, long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also I am talking, taking, sorry, taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. 
English is essential at the workplace these days. I know a colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Now you read ever and I'm going to read Beth. Let's begin. Okay. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you what are you doing this day? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also I am taking an English course this this day. How about you? That sound sound great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace this day. This days. I know a college who complete the course is taking a training in England these days. You, you are right. I am studying on my own. Oh, you know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Okay. Repeat after me. Hi, Beth. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. Long time no see. How are you? How are you? Hello, Ever. Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? What are you doing these days? I am okay. I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? How about you? That sounds great. That sounds great. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. No, what a coincidence. What a coincidence. Excellent. I am also taking. I am also taking. An English course. An English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. I know. A colleague. A colleague. Who completed the course. Who completed the course. Is taking a training in England these days. Is taking a training in England these days. You are right. You are right. I am studying on my own. I am studying on my own. You know. You know. I am reading novels. I am reading novels. To have better results. To have better results. Great. Great. Well. Well. I am doing listening exercises. I am doing ¿Cómo dije esta última I y am doing listening exercises. Listening. Listening. I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. They help a lot. Okay, very well. Now, let's continue with the practice. Here, 
Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it, yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Now your turn. Hey, Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, sure. tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is, where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great, great room. Rita, by the way, when are the material, material arriving? Do you know? Got it? Yes, they are arriving or on Friday morning. Congrats, very well done. Okay, and uh, okay, I think that you just need to focus a little bit on a specific words, yes? Solo tiene eh, que, que focalizarse en algunas palabras específicas, creo. Sí, Por ejemplo, sí, sí. acá. Acá sí habían unas cuantas que a Mario eso. le... ¿Verdad? Entonces acá. Por ejemplo... Sí. Um, Alleviate the stress, sí, porque hay vocabulario uh, nuevo. Yeah. Acá, alleviate uh -huh. the stress. Veamos, let me see alleviate here. Stress. Here, alleviate the stress. Ya. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Release, release tension, liberar tensión. Release tension. Calm the mind, calm the mind. Uh, improve, improve. Porque es con O, pero se pronuncia con U. Improve. Improve. Function improve. And, and lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? And here, you don't have, you don't just have to rely on, rely on. Rely on. Business games boost morale. Simply acknowledging. Esta es otra tricky para muchos. Ay, sí, acknowledging. Sí. <laughs> acknowledging. No, acknowledging, chin, acknowledging, olvídese la D, acknowledging, the la letter D is not pronounced, acknowledging, acknowledging, acknowledging. Mm -hmm. acknowledging. special occasions can have a big impact, it shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees, get everyone to sign a card, have a cake once, once a month, or simply buy simply buy them a round of coffees each time someone in your team has a birthday. Yeah, give your employees an opportunity to let off some steam, steam, estima by organizing organizing a day of paintball, simply getting out, getting out together, getting out, getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out though, as the boss, you're going to be a prime target. Ask everyone to bring a childhood, childhood, childhood. photo, infancia, childhood a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up on a board and then get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a bit of easy, light-hearted, hearted, de corazón viene, hearted, mm -hmm. hearted, hearted, fun that will definitely, definitely help definitely. Mm -hmm, lift Como spirits. Al principio, ajá, al principio va la fuerza. Definitely. 
will, that will definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of humor, humor along the way, humor along the way. Along the way. Okay. Uh, in, in number two, teacher, once a month, una vez al mes. Una vez al mes, once a month. Una, once a month. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Yeah. Lo estoy notando, por si acaso. Okay, great. Okay, David, thank you so much for giving. Ah, you want me to see it? You want to take a screenshot? If yes, you want yes. to, okay. Okay. Ahorita. Uy, esperen, no me Voy a llamar a soporte técnico. Ah, ok, you're going to call, support. you're going to call Jonathan. <laughs> ok, ready. Ok, great. So, thank you so much for giving me your time and I hope to see you tomorrow, ok? Have a thank good you, night. Teacher. Have a good night, too. Likewise, likewise, igualmente, ok? Bye, bye, take care.